4th of July is just, it's such a meaningful day to me. Well, back in 1861, President Lincoln, July 4th, 1861, President Lincoln had been president for five months. He had only been president for five months, just starting. They were coming into a very dark period of time in our nation's history, the Civil War. And there was a reverend by the name of Byron Sunderland who was giving a prayer at the Senate. The Senate was in session, going through some of the very important things that were, that was before the Senate, as you can imagine. And this Reverend Byron Sunderland gave a prayer. And I, I wanted to go into this 4th of July and I wanted to read this prayer. This prayer is as appropriate today, maybe more so. Well, not more so. But li I want you to listen to it. 1861, July 4th. Reverend Byron Sutherland offered up a prayer to the Senate of the United States of America. President Lincoln had been president for only five months. Almighty and everlasting God, do not be angry with us for our sin, which we only confess and deplore, but pardon our offenses and extend to us thy favor. We thank thee for thy goodness on this anniversary of the nation, a day tenfold more precious by reason of our present troubles, and sacred to the heart for the everlasting, for the ever memorable declaration of our fathers, which thou did begin more openly to give us a name among the nations of the earth. We thank thee for all thy manifold and abundant mercies here too, to make our nation exceedingly great and glorious. But now disaster have befallen us and the darkness broods in the land. And now we ask thy mercies as the Senate is convening at a most momentous crisis in our history. Give to thy servants all needed help. Add to their deliberations wisdom and unanimity and profit and speed to their conclusions. Bless thy servant, the President of the United States, our veteran, Commander-in-Chief, and all that have functions in civil and military power. May the angel of thy presence walk in the cabinet and in the Congress and in the camps to go before, to purify, and to direct and now greatly and universally awakened love of country. And we beseech thee to guide us to overrule and order all things. And so to cause that nothing shall fail, that the disorders of the land may be speedily healed, that peace and control may prevail, that truth and righteousness may be established and that thy church and kingdom may flourish in a larger peace and prosperity for thy son, our savior, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen.